Hi guys. Um, so since I started vlogging, I received some messages as to what is that disease that is our genetic disease. I don't know how to pronounce it. So somewhere here on the screen, probably down here, I will type it out for you. Um, I guess in short form, they call it as AMN. Um, I don't know too much about it. I googled it and it's actually in the National Center for Advancing and Translational Sciences. It's considered a genetic and rare disease. Um, and there's not even a, like, you know, estimated number of people with this disease. I can't, I don't even know how many out of how many um, it affects. I just know that it runs in our family. The female passes it on to the male. So if I were to have a son, there's a potential cost or a potential chance I meant for my son to have it. And um, Leela could potentially be a carrier of it. Um, I will link down the information that I found um, regarding this and um, you know my purpose for revlogging was not only to provide or be the avenue for Osner that he never had to be able to be a YouTuber but also you know and I, I didn't want to say this because I don't want anyone to hold me to it like oh you haven't donated anything is um, I want to be able to establish a community a community of those families that have this in their uh, blood and have lost families not just here in America but all over the world. The more I have researched about it, I saw different organizations and other families that have started for this. The first time I heard about this was with my uncle and um, it was with that movie that came out, Lorenzo's Oil. Um, so if you are interested to find out more about it, I suggest watching Lorenzo's Oil. It's a form of adrenal leukodystrophy, ALD. Um, and so it's a different mutation than ALDs from what I gather um, with regards to some ABCD1 gene. And um, so anyways, I, I'm not an expert. I will also link down below my cousin's video um, with him describing it, um, his disease and what it's like to live with the disease. Um, now keep in mind, um, my cousin, kind of uses foul language, not kinda, he does use foul language, um, it's something I don't do, um, so just be uh, forewarned that you are going to hear um, some foul language in his video. Um, again, I'm not an expert, all I wanna do is be able to help families. I do know that we've had some family, extended family members um, who have put, um, have had a mar bone marrow transplant and it seems to help. Um, if there, you have an organization that you would like me to promote to, um, so people can be more aware about this disease, please let me know. Um, my goal with this channel is whatever I can through the proceeds of YouTube, I'm definitely going to donate and support, create a community. Um, you know, I had a cousin or I have a cousin in Texas where she lost, I think her son was like four or five years old. There was no symptoms whatsoever. And um, he just started having seizures in class. And then, you know, a few months later he passed. So it really depends on how progressive or how much of these mutated genes does an individual have and it's not easy and it's not easy the other way watching somebody deteriorate um, being a family member and watching them deteriorate and um so anyways i just want to bring awareness to this disease i want to uh provide and donate where i can i want to be able to establish a community with regards to this disease because it's so rare it's rare but that when you have are in a family that has this disease, it doesn't feel rare because you are constantly, especially as a female, constantly worried, am I gonna pass it on to my son? Am I going to, um, you know, is my daughter gonna have to experience, you know, what my aunt felt or, you know, 
or so what my cousin felt and that's not something that we want um and it, it's hard it's hard to live through it and i can't even imagine what it's like on the other end you know with my cousin having the disease um, or cousins having the disease and um, there are some times when we have my that cousin I had she has a sister and she has two boys and there's no signs of the disease which you know they can have it later in life or they can have it not at all we just don't know and when I was pregnant with Leela and we didn't know the gender yet you know um, my doctor had advised well why don't you take the genetic testing the NIPT when I went to the NIPT, the counselor's like, we can't test for that. You know, the only testing they can do is like the BRAC1 and 2, which is basically like cancer or breast cancer, um, the gender, and if there's any type of uh, Down syndrome. But they can't test for this rare disease. And even though it is a genetic disease, they can't, and it's a genetic testing, they can't test for that. And so they wouldn't be even be able to tell me if the child would have it or not, or I can't. I don't even know if Leela would be able to, um, I don't know if we can find out if Leela's a carrier or not, or if I'm a carrier or not, I don't even know. Um, but down the line through this, I mean, I'm going to tell you, it is hard to vlog, <laughs> to remember to pick up the camera and vlog and not always the people you're around wants to be on camera. Um, and there are a lot of times when you, it's just, you do every day work just work like your everyday life and it's so boring and it feels so boring you're like who would want to watch this right um but I have to always remember I'm doing this because I have a goal in mind that goal in mind is you know I want to build this community and one day if a family member or not a family member but any family to be honest um you know does not have the means to be able to get that bone marrow or you know insurance doesn't cover it. I have no idea. Um, but I want to be able to help some way, somehow. Um, because I think more and more, um, I'm seeing the effects of it as I got older when I was younger and my uncle, um, my mom's brother, who we just, he was the one that we found out about this disease when he passed away. It didn't mean anything to me. Um, but now that I'm having my own kids and, you know, as much as we are so happy with Leela, you know, if God blesses us with another child, it's always that fear of, is it going to be a guy? Is it going to be a male? Is it going to have the disease? So anyways, um, it's going to be a short vlog. I just wanted to pop in and explain to you guys a little bit about this disease that I'm talking about within our family. It, I just don't really talk about it because I just don't know too much about it. But hopefully with the information linked below, um, it'll give, shed some light to what I'm talking. And if your family um, has disease, please send me a message. I would love to connect. I would love to establish a community. And it, again, if you have an organization or know of an organization um, that is already putting this in motion, I would also love to connect with them. And the best way that you all can help, because I've asked this, you know, am I going to create a GoFundMe or a Patreon? I'm not going to do any of that. It's just really to subscribe and share my videos. Uh, to be honest, before YouTube, when I started YouTube 10 years ago, you could start monetizing from day one. Now you have to have a thousand subscribers and 40,000 hours and just there's just so many things before um, you could actually start monetizing, which I'm nowhere near nowhere near so um, just your subscription and you watching your videos and sharing is a huge help already so that's all for today and uh, looking forward to connecting with you guys bye